Hey everybody, welcome to Jerome Food. I'm your host, Nolan Silverstein. Tonight we're going to show you how to make carrot and ginger soup. You will need one pound of carrots, two ribs of celery, a quarter cup of white onion, one tablespoon of butter, up to two cups of stock, one half cup of whole milk, one tablespoon of flour, and one tablespoon of Seabold ginger beer cordial. Here we have our orange carrots. These need to be peeled. Take off the very ends of our carrots as well as the tops of each carrot. We're going to grab a large heavy bottom skillet. And in this skillet, I'm going to place all of my carrots and cover them with about a half of a cup of vegetable stock and with our carrots. Just enough to cover them about halfway. Take these, put them on a high heat, and boil until our carrots are fork tender. First thing I'm going to do is get a quarter cup of white onion, diced. Here I have two stalks of celery. I'm just going to dice. In a medium saucepan, we're going to place one tablespoon of butter and my onion and celery. We're going to place these on a medium low heat and saute for about 10 minutes. I right, want to measure one half cup of milk. It looks like our carrots need a little more stock. Now right, checking our onions and our celery, looking nice. One tablespoon of flour, leveled off to our celery, onions, and butter. This is going to form a roux. The roux, if you're unfamiliar with it, is the thickening base of a soup. We're going to keep this heat on about a medium low. Stir that flour into our celery and onions and cook for about a minute. All right, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and add all of our stock and all of our milk into this pan. And we're going to let that cook on about a medium high heat until it thickens. So let that cook for about five minutes. Check on your carrots. These carrots will be done when they're fork tender. Let's see. I'd say that some of them are done, some of them are not. The thicker carrots are not cooking quite as quickly. Take our carrots, add them whole into the blender, along with any remaining pan liquid. And we're going to take that, put it on our blender. There we go. Now we're going to add our milk, celery, onions, and roux. Look at that. And once again, we're going to cover with a towel and blend. Add one tablespoon of ginger cordial. There we go. Cover once again and combine for about five to 10 seconds and you'll be done. After you are finished making your carrot ginger soup, if you notice that you would like more ginger flavor, feel free to add up to a second tablespoon of Seabold ginger beer cordial. Here we have a carrot and ginger soup featuring Seabold ginger beer cordial. You're watching Jerome Food. Thank you for watching JeromeBox.com.